right, what's up everybody? Today we're talking about the Dallas Cowboys, obviously, because it's America's team. The serious? It's like the sound barrier, okay, but it's the cap. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. So what we're talking about here is a little news that came out today from Cowboys. And, and basically it's in regards to players that are kind of moving up the chains, all right, moving up the ladder. So in particular, we're talking about our second round pick, Tristan Hill. The three tech, the under tackle, the guy who's going to be responsible for really uh, jump starting this Rod Marinelli defense. All right. So today we found out that uh, he's getting first team snaps. All right. Now, while this can be thought about as something that's small and something that it's more about, you know, maybe he's getting uh, giving some of the bets some relief and that kind of thing. That, that's not how I look at this. All right. Th this is this is something that's a plan this is something that's planned you know right and so they're getting him little by little stacking good practices we've already heard that he's been having good otas and now they're elevating challenge all right when when you're in the first team you're going up against zach martin the gob all right and and these types of players so going up against you know these guys going up against connor Williams or zach martin whoever you know it's uh it's a good sign. It's a re very, very good sign because I'll tell you what: if if you if you were hearing that uh, nothing from him or he wasn't looking too good or you know was still you know playing with the third team players, you can maybe see that as okay. Well, they're bringing him along little by little. But here we are in OTAs, the third OTA session, and he's moving up to first team snaps. All right, so the plan is in place. They recognize the talent. Rod Marinelli recognized the talent and specifically the guy's passion because Rod Marinelli, Rod Marinelli has always said that he wants guys that love the game, all right, that love the game. And um, <clears throat> evidently, Tristan Hill is showing that, all right. The other player that is making uh, some news here with first team reps, Dorrance Armstrong. One of the players that's not really talked about too much, but I, I try to keep his name in in the conversation because I just feel that he's going to be one of these guys that has the potential to really have a breakout season. All right. And I've talked, I've dropped his name here a couple times already talking about, you know, how he finished the season and he had quality snaps when he did get in the games last year. So there he's getting first team snaps at left end. All right. So what does this mean for some of the other players? It means that uh, they're seeing something in him. All right. And yeah, you do have some players that are sitting out, obviously. This is what you want to hear. You want to hear these young players stepping in and getting first team snaps because you want to get a closer look. How do they how do they do against some of these uh, bigger guys? Some of your your, uh, you know, Pro Bowl caliber type of players, you know, and obviously with with Dorrance, um, he's going up against Cam Fleming because Tyron, he's still, you know, they're kind of bringing him along little by little, working out on the side and that kind of thing. But Cam Fleming, he's no pushover, all right? Some people are really quick to be like, Cam Fleming's a bum, he doesn't do this, he doesn't do that. I, I believe in Bill Belichick, all right? He's put together Super Bowl teams. He's not gonna have Cam Fleming play the whole season and playing your at your right tackle in the Super Bowl if he wasn't good. All right, the other, okay, so I trust that evaluation and I trust Will McClay's evaluation. So I don't, I, I really don't understand the people that are, that throw dirt on Cameron Phil. I mean, they signed him to a two-year deal. Trust in Will McClay, trust in in uh, these evaluators, talent evaluators. I, I mean, I, I believe in them. Belichick and then Will McClay is, a, is another one, just icing on the cake for me. So him beating him on a consistent basis is good. How will he do against uh, somebody like a Tyron Smith? There's another question, but, uh, you know, put him up against, you know, Lyle Collins. I bet he could get it done. I bet he could. He's got good dip. All right. He has those, those attributes and something that I really liked in uh, the post draft evaluation last year when setting up on Dorrance Armstrong, he has that history of being a run stuffing defensive end and also uh, a defensive end that can get to the quarterback and give you good sack production, you know, and I've talked about this in the past, but they did change it up there at Kansas. And, you know, so if you look at the stats, you'll see one year he doesn't have as many sacks. 
the next year he had a whole bunch of sacks or vice versa and that was the change on the defensive uh, you know philosophy there at Kansas so this is very good news you want to hear this Tristan Hill first team snaps keep it going keep stacking it up and uh, I think you're gonna see him there starting man I mean Malik Collins he's losing those snaps all right he's he's um, will he play week one I'm not so sure that he will be the the starter week one but you never know this is a good this is a very good sign all right these are good signs for both these young players especially Dorrance Armstrong if you can hit on these later on guys they can push some of these guys that haven't been doing as much as you would hope then uh you know you're kind of evening the scales there you know if, if, if worst case scenario let's say you missed on the taco charlton but you hit on a Dorrance Armstrong it kind of evens it out, all right? It kind of evens it out. But let's hope that both these guys, Taco and Dorrance, can give you some some boost there uh, in stopping the run and getting in the quarterback along the way. All right, guys? But that's all I have right now, guys. Pretty interesting news coming out today. You'd like to hear Let me know what you guys think about Tristan Hill's progression and the things that we're hearing. And Dorrance Armstrong, how do you guys feel that these guys are going to contribute to the Cowboys 2019 defense? Let me know in the comments. Hit like on this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I really appreciate all you guys. All right, it's been a really great offseason. Like I said, uh, the growth has been really good and can't be without you. So shout out to all you subscribers out there. And uh, we'll see you for the next one. Continue to like, subscribe, and share. Peace.